Now we have like a question three that says I simplify uh, the following. So now let's start with question A. Um, question A there. So I'm gonna write here. A equal to two to the two X minus two to the X all over um, two to the X minus one, excuse me. Now, um, we can do it different ways. Um, you know, two to the two X is something as to say uh, uh, two to the X times two to the X, okay? Because remember, uh, the law of exponent says that um, uh, a to the M times A to the N equal to A to the M plus N, okay? So these two combined makes two to the two X, right? Because uh, if I do uh, X plus X is two X, so the exponent will be two X. So it's like two X, two to the X times two to the X minus two to the X all over uh, uh, two to the X minus one, okay? So this can be written as, uh, we can take two to the X as a common factor, okay, and then, and then we have left with two to the x minus one all over uh, two to the x minus one. Now we can simplify this with that because the same thing. And then uh, the answer will be just two to the x one way. Or we can also um, say, um, say that, uh, you see, two to the two x can be written also as, um, uh, 2 to the x to the power of 2, okay? This time, uh, let me let me write it this way. Um, we can say 2 to the uh, 2 to the power of x, like, no, no, 2 to the x and then to the power of 2. Um, and then to the power of two, uh, because the law of exponent says um, uh, a to the m to the power of n equal to a to the m times n. So if you have like a two x, two x is like two times x, okay? So we can also write uh, two, to the, two to the x to the power of two, because if you times here, x times two makes two x still. And then uh, this will be like two to the x man, two to the x, to the power of two minus two x minus two to the x over two to the x minus one. And now we can label, we can call this two n here. Uh, I'm saying we can we can call this two uh, x here. Uh, we can label, we can call it n for instance. Let's say this is equal to n, okay? So uh, let's say this all was n. It's gonna be like um, we have like n squared minus n over n minus one, so we can take n as a common factor, and then it's gonna be like uh, uh, n minus one all over uh, n minus one, okay, all over n minus one. So we can simplify here n minus one with n minus one, and the answer is just n. N, and then if you sub back the value of n, n, n was equal to two to the power of x. Okay. Um, let's do question B. Question B is that way. Um, question B says uh, two to the power of two x minus one over two to the x plus one. So in this case, uh, I prefer to do as I did here in the previous uh, method. All right. Um, it has uh, two to the power of uh, x to the power of two, okay? Uh, minus one all over um, uh, two to the power of x plus one. Now we have here a difference of two squares because one can be written also as uh, to the power of two, okay? So this is like two to the x to the power of two. This is one to the power of two, and then one to the power of two. So over there, we can write uh, 
uh, 2 to the x minus 1 and then 2 to the x plus 1. We can call it n if you get confused. You can call it n. Uh, it can be like, assuming it was this was just n, uh, was just n, that was n. It's going to be like uh, n squared minus 1. So maybe n minus 1, n plus 1 ish over over um, n plus 1. But I don't need to do that. I'm going to say over 2x, 2 to the power of x plus 1. Okay, now you notice that this is the same as what is a numerator, so we can just simplify, and then the answer is uh, 2 to the x uh, minus 1. Okay, and then question C is uh, 9 to the x minus 9 all over uh, 3 to the x minus 3. Now we can reduce uh, um, 9 to the x in terms of its prime factor, and then 9 also. I mean, nine, to, 9 in terms of its prime factor. Um, and then 3 is already a prime number, so it's going to stay like that. 9 is like 9 squared uh, minus 9. And then um, this can be written as uh, um, I mean, to say not I might just say 3 squared here, 3 squared there, and then 3 squared also. Okay. Um, uh, and then this can be written as uh, 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 3 uh, to the power of x to the power of 2, like that. Okay. Minus uh, 3 squared. Okay. All over uh, 3x. That's for negative three minus three. And then this, we can apply a difference of two squares. Um, I do it in the following line. And then it will be uh, three to the power of X minus three. Okay. Uh, three to the power of X plus three all over uh, three to the X minus three. Now, this and the numerator are common, so we can simplify the product. Uh, and then the answer will be uh, just 3 to the x plus 3. Okay. Same also, we can do uh, question D. As we can see, that's 16 minus 4 to the x over 2. Okay. Uh, let's do question D. That's 16 um, minus 4 to the x over. Uh, 2 to the x minus 4. So 16 is a prime number. Uh, it's not a prime number, I mean. And then um, 4 is not a prime number either, so we can reduce them. And then uh, 2 to the x is, I'll leave it like that, and then 4, I'll change. So now 16 is like 2 to the power of 4. And then 4 is uh, 2 to the power of 2. Uh, 2 to the power of 2 there. Now, what can I do here? Um, Okay, I can write 2 to the power of 4 is same as uh, 2 to the power of uh, 2 times 2, okay? Okay, and then uh, minus uh, 2 to the power of 2, 2 to the power of x. This time I will write it as um, 2 to the power of uh, x and then to the power of 2. I'll, I'll switch uh, x and uh, 2 in the exponents over uh, 2 to the x minus uh, 2 squared. Now, um, okay, this will be, let me move it this way. This can be written as uh, 2 squared to the power of 2. Okay, because I'm trying to get the, the difference of 2 squares, okay? And then it's going to be like 2 to the x, uh, uh, to the power of 2 all over uh, uh, 2 to the x minus, let's just keep it 4, okay, because I cannot really, and then same also here, it, it, it's just 4, all this is just 4, sorry, all this here is just 4, it's just 4, 4 squared, 
Then I will do 4 minus 2 to the x and 4 plus 2 to the x all over uh, 2 to the x minus 4. Now we can't let now we can simplify this like that. No, we can't really do that uh, because this is 4 minus 2x by that 2x minus 4. So, what can we do then? Um, we can switch the side of 2x and negative 4. We can write 4 minus 2x to look this 2 to the x to, to be the same as here. But it's possible only if we put a negative sign outside the brackets. Okay, then we can uh, simplify this with that. Okay, and then the answer will be a uh, negative 4 plus the, the negative at the denominator can, okay, it's like, okay, maybe should, 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 I should write that this way 4 plus uh, 2 to the x, okay, all over negative 1, which is a uh, negative. Uh, 4 minus negative 2x, 2 to the x. Thank you. Okay, well, if it is your first time, we will encourage you to subscribe in our, in our channel. Thank you very much.